about the additional learning features of our software. To encourage teamwork, we can divide the class into groups using our group learning feature, which is here at the top of our teacher's control panel. We can now divide the class into groups by choosing the number of groups here. And we can even give each team a mascot. Now the students can join the giraffe team, the dolphin team, or the koala team by pressing the number on their clicker. So they'll press 1A to join the giraffe team, 2B to join the dolphin team, and 3C to join the koala team. These numbers correspond to the numbers on the back of the clickers. Now, I'll click OK and I'll ask my question. We are going to ask number two. There are four choices, so I'll click four and I'll start the time. Now my students can answer question number two. And when we're finished, I can stop the time. Now, instead of clicking on the results display here in the center, I'll click on group results, and we can see how each team performed. I'll select the correct answer, and then I'll choose the team. To engage my students even more, I can use our timer feature. I'm going to ask number three, and you'll see on the right side of our teacher's control panel, it says show timer. When I click on this, you can see the time, and you can choose how much time you want to give your students to answer this question. I'm only going to give my students 10 seconds this time. And there's four choices for number three, so I will keep it at 4D. And now I'll press the play or the start timer here. And my students only have 10 seconds to key in their answer. The time will end automatically. Now that time's up, I'll select the correct answer. And instead of going to our results here in the center, I'll go to group results. And I can see how my students perform team by team, or I can click on all reveal to see everything at once. And after any question, you can show the speed ranking feature. The speed ranking feature is located at the top. And when we click on that, we can see who answered the quickest. So we can see that clicker number three was in fifth place. Clicker number six was fourth. Third was clicker number eight. Clicker number five was second. And the fastest was clicker number four. Again, these numbers correspond to the clicker numbers on the back of each clicker. So just because these students answered quickly, it doesn't necessarily mean they were correct. When I click on the correct icon here, it will show me that the fastest student wasn't correct, the next fastest was correct. You can review the quiz in class by going to Menu and Review. This will show the results and the questions in this session. You can go to Elmo SRS Reporting to view your students or class results. And you can go to Elmo Configurations to change the default settings. Watch the next video to see how you can view students' performance in Elmo SRS reporting software.